Some of the seriously wounded in Saturday's bombing in Mogadishu are being airlifted abroad for treatment. Somali hospitals have received much needed medical supplies. Patients turned away by overwhelmed hospitals in the hours and days after the attack are finally getting attention. As Al Shabaab attacks become more lethal, medical workers say they are forced to improvise their treatment plans for the maimed and wounded. Multi organ injuries, there were many. It's the time when you can see that uh, how extended is the energy, the propulsion energy which was having the blast. A yet to be published UN report says Al Shabaab has introduced new ways of constructing improvised bombs and increase their destructive force. It says the weight of their explosives has also increased. And along with military-grade devices, the group uses fertilizers, barrels of fuel, and gas canisters to ensure maximum damage. Al-Shabaab fighters were forced out of Mogadishu in August 2011, yet they continue to wield considerable influence in the capital. They operate a complex taxation system in which many businesses give them monthly contributions. And with that, the once ragtag rebels have become an economic powerhouse collecting millions of dollars for their campaign of violence. The United Nations says Al Shabaab's illegal taxation schemes involve extortion and other so called fees. Analysts say it's not the strength of Al Shabaab, but rather the weakness of the Somali government that's helped the fighters succeed. Somalis need to be as angry and as resolute as Al Shabaab is. Uh, it seems there's a huge amount of, uh, of you know, you know, dependence on, on the UN and the EU and Amazon and others. If we wanted to die like Al Shabaab, Somalia could have been free for about a long time ago. Somalia's president says it's time to act. I believe it's time for us to come together and uh, to unite against this foreign ideology, which, we ha which, which has nothing to do with Islam, which has nothing to do with our culture. Dozens of Somalis remain missing and many families are in mourning. For them, this attack is a massive blow in the war against Al-Shabaab. Mohammed Adou Al-Jazeera, Mogadishu, Somalia.